So if you're playing with someone who's bigger, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of information out there on how to play with them, how to make them comfortable, how to move their body. Right, like how to, like especially if you're somebody who um, is uncomfortable, you know, say for instance you're a bigger person and you're not that comfortable with your sexuality, um, having sex with somebody for the first time might be like slightly unnerving slash terrifying experience <laughs> because you don't know if that guy's really into you. Um, and, and on the flip side, maybe you're a guy who um, wants to try, you know, intimate relations with, <laughs> with a chubby chick for the first time. Or you're a skinny girl and you find that, oh my God, I have no idea, but I'm really attracted to chubby guys. Um, how do you get into that space where mm. once you're naked in a room together, how do you have sex in a way that maybe doesn't make the other person uncomfortable? The skinny person or the big person, yeah. you know? Um, there's a lot of shame on the part of, for most people that are considered overweight, right. there's the shame of I'm not supposed to be this way. I've never seen this portrayed. In I'm the not media. supposed to be sexual or sexy. And why does this person want to have sex with me? You know, it just becomes yeah. very um, unnerving. And if you're a guy that can mess with erection problems, and if you're a girl, you know, you're just beating yourself up, and then like the whole night just goes. Well, there's like, the like chemistry really between two people is messed up. If one person's like, I hope they don't notice how big I am, or I have to hold my stomach in the right. whole time. It just it makes it very uncomfortable. Yeah, and you are? I'm Kathy Bartoli from the Intimacy Dojo. <laughs> and I am Kelly Shabari from theprismgroup.com and Kelly Shabari triple X dot com. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Like, I've, I've, I've dated all sorts of guys over the years, and um, I don't have, I, I have, all of my way is kind of like in my, like, the, when, when it comes to sex, like, it, it's the inside of my thighs. Mm -hmm. You know, and I have a, a pretty fleshy pubic mound. Mm -hmm. So I'm comfortable enough with my sexuality because I do a lot of porn. Mm -hmm. And so performing and being naked, especially for the camera, is something that I do often. So part of what I do is facilitate things for my male co-star. So I realized that that's something that you should probably do in your bedroom too if you're working with somebody and maybe they're not used to your body, mm -hmm. but you know what works for your body. You can coach the other yeah, person. Yeah, I think, you know, that I'm a big fan of kind of communication in the bedroom anyway. Mm -hmm. So why not say, hey, look, you know, what works for me is doggy style or what works for me is um, I get really turned on if I give you a blowjob first because I'm a very oral person, right. me personally. So, so knowing yourself and yeah. being able to share that is really helpful. Yeah, like for me, because I'm slightly submissive, I'm cool if you want to go down on me, but like I'm going to be happier if I'm giving you head. Okay. That's me. You know yourself Just, and right. you can share. And, and, and that's because I've learned that over years and years of experimentation. <laughs> um, but I think that uh, if you're, a, say for instance, you're a guy who has a big gut or uh, big thighs, or whatever, things are in the way, you know, like, I've, I've played with boys and girls who have an apron, you know, and for me, I'm comfortable enough with it that I can just go in and just move it out of the way, and just, just go, use your forearm, out of the way, <laughs> right, um, or say, hey, get into this position, and then that way I can get at you better, but, um, but you're willing to experiment and play with them, whereas yeah. someone who's really scared and insecure or ashamed might not be willing to say, let's try and see what works well for us, right, and so somebody in that equation, like if you have two timid people, it gets very uncomfortable for everybody. Mm -hmm. So somebody's going to have to like take the bull by the horns and go, okay, let's well, try had, this. You had a great suggestion for bigger people. If you look at tips for pregnant, pe pregnant oh, yeah, women, yeah. that's a great way to find positions and that ways work. to move that work. Yeah, you know, scissor works great, like sideways, you know, like because... Because the, the interesting thing about sideways is, as a girl, you only have to put one leg up. <laughs> Putting both legs up can be exhausting, you know? And sometimes, like, if you're in that position where you're, like, on your back, like, you're doing missionary, but you're both your legs are up in the air, it pushes all your stomach and you your You can't boobs. breathe. Yeah, and I'm one of those people that, like, in missionary, mm -hmm. if I'm not careful, um, my boobs will come up into my face because <laughs> I have really big boobs because I have, like, F-cup boobs. And they will actually come up here and they will suffocate if mm -hmm. I'm not careful. So I prefer positions where I'm not the one on the bottom. Right. 
although that can be fun for short periods of time. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I mean, looking at positions that work for people, you know, because, I, yes, I understand that there are jokes about, you know, oh, when are you due? You know, because mm-hmm. you have a big gut. But in reality, like, you have to kind of own, hey, I've got a big gut. Yeah. Guess who else has big guts? <clears throat> Pregnant women. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, see what sexual positions work, you know, for people with large bellies, I mean, you're going to have to, like, just kind of suck it up and go, okay, well, it, you know, people think I look pregnant. Maybe I should look at the positions that work for people of that stature. Yeah. And you know? If you can let go of some of the shame that's around that. For, yeah, because there's no there's, shame. There's nothing wrong with you being how you are. Right. It's genetic. I mean, or, you know, most of the time. And even if it's not genetic, maybe you do like to eat. Maybe you don't like to exercise. Maybe you are a big fat slob. But <laughs> even if you are... Or you have old traumas that keep make you insecure feeling... Yeah, but who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know? I mean, don't let that ruin your life. You and know? you still get to go out there and have a great time. With yeah. I, I, you know, it took me a long time. But when people tell me that I'm fat, I'm like, yeah, like I didn't know. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Shocker. <laughs> You know, and I think that that's kind of important is is owning who you are, not trying to hide it. The more you hide it, the more shameful you are. The mm-hmm. more shameful you are when you're in a situation where somebody actually finds you attractive, you know, and you can actually find happiness. Like, you don't let it in because you have all these barriers mm-hmm. up. And you know what's not attractive is is a person who just beats themselves up all the time. Mm-hmm. And you can hide and run, but in the end, it's how much joy did you have in your life? Yeah. What did you do with your life? Yeah. You know, here's, here's okay. So, interesting anecdote is, um, and I don't know how much of this is true. This is the stories that I've heard. Ray Liotta, his wife, is a stunt car driver. Mm-hmm. And he met her after she had this horrible accident. She's wheelchair bound. Okay. But he and her totally clicked. Because she owned it. She's like, dude, I'm a stunt car driver. <laughs> I got in a wreck and I'm in a wheelchair, but I did some really cool stuff yeah. when I was driving. And and they really got along. And so they would like, go to the movie theater together and he would like take her to the movie theater in the wheelchair, pick her up. Aww. So she didn't have to sit in the wheelchair area, you know, because it kind of sucks, you know. So he like would pick her up, take her over. And sit her down next to a seat in like a regular movie theater chair. Oh. And and I guess, you know, they're still going strong because she owns who she is. You know, like trauma happens. Yeah. You can't live a life without trauma. I mean if I mean I guess you could, but then you live a life that's not really well lived. Yeah. You well know? it's it's worth getting out there and connecting, even if you have to deal with things yeah. that feel a little scary or things you've been taught that are shameful that are really not shameful. Yeah. It makes you stronger. Yeah. Please leave comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. You're like, what? We went from fat people having sex to Ray Liotta and a wheelchair girl. <laughs> what? But um, Just I, enjoy the ride. No, so much of it is, um, you know, just saying, look, I know I am a certain way. Yeah. Um, none of it's shameful. Mm-hmm. You may want to change it, but where you are right now yeah, is Yeah, I mean, look, are. if you want to go on a diet, go on a diet. If you don't want to go on a diet, then who cares? You know, I mean, if your doctor tells you to, then maybe you should take a look at what you're doing. Um, but if your doctor's, like in my case, like I'm a bigger girl, but like my blood numbers, when it goes to the doctor, he's like, yeah, you're totally healthy. So I'm like, okay, I'll go have a milkshake. <laughs> Not really. But um, uh, I think that being happy should be your number one goal. Mm-hmm. And if you're beating yourself up, then nobody else is beating you up by yourself. Yeah. And... That's the first step. You know, if you stop beating yourself up, then eventually you'll realize that nobody else is doing it either. Yeah. And that's when you can start having fun and start having awesome sex and start attracting awesome people that really like you for who you are, you know, and they like you because of your size or not because of your size, or, but they just like you. Yeah. You know, they see and, who you are. Yeah. Because you're sharing it out there. And that's when you can start saying, hey, let's go to the Korean spa and get naked, <laughs> which is what we did the other day. Um, and, uh, Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> and we will do it again. Yes. So go out and start living your life. Have fun. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Kelly. Okay.